And this pursuit lasted over 20 miles long. Really thankful that there were no injuries, especially when you see this tree here behind me that the deputy wrecked into. You could see that's a smaller tree right next to this larger one. So we're thankful that that deputy did not crash into that larger trunk there. It could have been much more serious. Let's get you some of that video to show you that patrol car when it was still sitting here before the wrecker came and towed it away. Again, luckily we're told no one was injured, which is great news considering the suspect, as we mentioned, led this led deputies on a very long pursuit, reaching speeds of 100 miles per hour. Now, if we show you some video from Transar cameras that we captured, the pursuit happened around JFK Boulevard and Beltway 8. It ended on Wallaceville Road after a deputy tried to initiate a traffic stop. So that's what started all of this. Now, the suspect led deputies on that long pursuit. According to sheriff's deputies during the pursuit, that's when one of the deputies that was involved lost control of their vehicle. But again, nobody was hurt. Now, the suspect did try to get out of the vehicle and run when it came to the the end of that pursuit, but was quickly taken into custody. Deputies also noted that they were able to keep a visual on the suspect in order to keep a safe distance during this chase. I think the speeds were excessive of 100 miles an hour. Uh, our deputies were able to back off uh, for a time frame to be able to keep a visual on him so that they could travel at safe speeds. And I'm sure that was key here in this pursuit, just to imagine the length of it and the speed. And often we cover too many stories where innocent drivers are involved. So again, that was not the case in this situation. They were able to take that, that suspect in after that pursuit without issue. And we are told that the suspect could be facing felony evading charges. And we'll keep you updated on this story live in North Harris County. Bree Berry, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Bree, thanks so much for that live report.